Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. I hope everyone's doing great today. What we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be showing you guys an error that you might run into when you're modding Skyrim Special Edition and I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that error using the Vortex Mod Manager. So a lot of you are using the Vortex Mod Manager because I made a video on it. So what I did was I had installed a couple of mods and I found that my Skyrim Special Edition was no longer working. The mods that I installed were Immersive Interiors, 120 FPS User Interface, More Informative Console, and Display Enemy Level. Disclaimer before I go any further in this video, when you're installing mods into Skyrim Special Edition, you want to go one by one and launch your game each time, this way you know exactly what mod is causing the issues. You will see exactly why later in this video. So I'm going to go to launch my Skyrim Special Edition now with all of my mods installed from the SKSE loader. Usually when I launch my Skyrim after installing mods, I'll wait about 30 seconds to see if it launches, and if it doesn't, I usually assume that something is going wrong. So I've waited a few seconds and nothing is happening, so I am going to assume that my Skyrim Special Edition is not working. So I'm going to go back into Vortex. And as you can see, what do you know, there is a script extender plugin error. So I'm going to click more. And as you can see here, we are getting an error code. And it says that display enemy level, engine fixes part one, and refresh rate are all not working. Now, I knew that engine fixes, engine fixes part one was working before, so I knew something was up with this. So I went into my mods and uninstalled and reinstalled each one one by one and tested the game. What I had found was that it really wasn't the three mods that were in the error code that the game that Vortex was detecting, but it was really just immersive interiors. So the fix was just to disable this mod altogether, wait for it to deploy and load everything up here at the top and on the side here. And then as you can see, that is done. So now if we go back into our Skyrim Special Edition, we can load up the game. And as you can see now, guys, the game is working. I want to say thank you for watching. If you enjoy my content and you enjoy the Elder Scrolls and Skyrim content, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell for notifications. Have a great day. Uh, and as you can